Hello everybody. So I wanted to take a moment to go through postural deviations. Um, obviously you guys have probably heard of terms like lordosis, um, kyphosis, but I want to actually go into a little bit more detail of what those are, what they look like, um, as well as using some other terminologies that some, can sometimes be intermixed with it. So the first one and probably most popular is going to be kyphosis. So this is when the upper back, okay, from here up is folded forward. Now, kyphosis is also a flex position. So as you can see, I am flexed forward. I'm slouching. Um, my shoulders are gonna be rounded forward. So in this, my scapula is coming forward this way. All right. Um, there may also be a little bit of an internal rotation here. So sometimes with kyphosis, you'll also see the palms turn inward, right? And then forward. So it's just bringing that forward and flex position um, if you're a sloucher, if you sit in a couch that is um, not well supported, or if you're at your desk and at some point throughout the day you start doing this, um, you get it also with driving. It's, we live life in front of us, so this is pretty common. It's just a matter of making sure that your muscles are able to withstand and bring you back out of that. Um, another common one is going to be lordosis. So this is, um, I, honestly, I call it the, uh, it's the girl with the booty complex right? Because I happen to have one. So it's just the way it goes. But if you're here and you're in lordosis, it's when you're here in this position. Now, sometimes, you know, some women just have a really perky booty and you'd be surprised. I've actually seen that some women that think they have lordosis actually don't. And it's just because their booty is so prominent up here um, that it can make them look like they're in lordosis, but they're really not. Um, but lordosis is going to mean that you have a weak core. It's going to mean that you have an anterior tilt in your pelvis. So imagine if your pelvis were a bowl, your bowl would be spilling forward. So if my pelvis here is a bowl, it's spilling forward. That's an anterior tilt. Um, and that's also lordosis. Now, another one, obviously, that you're going to hear, that you hear pretty often is going to be a forward head position. So that's when, so when you're looking at posture, you want your ears um, and your shoulders to come in line with each other. So when the head comes forward this way, or even comes slightly down, or particularly in seniors, what ends up happening is they have a combination of this kyphosis, but then they actually have extension going on in the neck. Because what happens is they're slouching down here, and obviously I'm exaggerating, okay? But we're slouching here, and then in order to look straight forward, they're here. And so they complain about their neck hurting them all the time and their little back hurting them all the time. And it's because every time you are adding degrees forward, you're adding how much weight those muscles are having to hold up. So imagine if I'm here and I'm standing in good posture, my low back isn't having to work very hard. But if I start leaning forward, the more and more I come forward, the more that those muscles are lengthening and having to hold my body because it's falling over, right? Um, Another common one is going to be a lateral deviation. This is something that you'll see with um, individuals that have scoliosis. Um, obviously, there's difference between C curve and then a spiral curve, but a, um, a C curve in scoliosis, and it's not always scoliosis, so keep that in mind too. Um, it's sometimes it's just muscles pulling on things and throwing things off whack, and sometimes you can bring it back in balance. So if you're here, but a lateral deviation is taking one portion either below or above, so let's say we're gonna start with the rib cage, and it laterally deviates to one side, okay? Again, this is an exaggeration, all right? Same thing can happen with the pelvis, and it, honestly, it looks the same where the pelvis just goes off to the side, and you can see my hips. I just sit more to one side than the other. Mamas, if you've been carrying a baby in that left arm, and you're right-handed, so you carry baby here, and you're constantly like this, guess what? You're creating a postural deviation in yourself, just that habit. Um, another one that we want to pay attention to is lateral flexion. Lateral flexion, again, can happen from above or below. So if it's happening from the rib cage, it's going to look like this, okay? And that's also going to create some, some parts of scoliosis in there as well. And then you could also have, uh, chiropractors like to call it longer leg, right? They'll tell you that you have one leg longer than the other. Most of the time, you don't actually have one leg longer than the other unless you've had significant damage to cartilage in the knee, God usually does a pretty good job of making us pretty balanced. So we're usually born pretty balanced. So unless you've had significant trauma to one side or the other, you usually don't have one leg more than the other. So, um, but uh, it'll look like this. So your hips will be here and you'll have one hip that's higher than the other. 
okay? And those are, that's lateral flexion, um, that's, if this would be in the pelvis, and lateral flexion here would be in the trunk. Um, another one that we have a flat back. So flat back is when somebody has a posterior tilt. So we talked about the bowl being uh, tipping over. So a flat back is actually where somebody's losing that curvature. And so they would be in what's called a posterior tilt, right? I'm not even sure that I can bring my back quite far enough. But when you see somebody that's, um, that has a flat back, they'll kind of almost look like they're gonna fall backwards. So because their back is just an unnatural curvature, they're just losing some of their natural lordosis. And so they'll be here and that's the flat back. So they just kind of lose, they lose the curvature in every aspect. So in the lumbar spine, that's curvature this way. Thoracic spine, natural curvature this way, but obviously you don't want too much. And then cervical spine is your, your curvature comes back up this way. So it's kind of. Um, and then the last one that I want to talk about is a sway back. So sway back is a combination of things. Sway back, you have the lordosis, but then you also have a reduced rib cage. So when someone's in lordosis, they kind of, I don't know, I think of like a pump, but I guess it's not really somebody that's walking around like a pump. They're not doing it on purpose at least, right? But they have the slight lordosis, but then they have a depressed rib cage at the same time. And that's gonna be a sway back. Anyway, I know that was a lot of information, but I hope that that's helpful. I hope that that can help you to identify if you have any postural deviations that are going on within your own body. And go ahead, go somewhere, go out somewhere and see if you can point out somebody else's. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,